Those who spend their property in the way of God and do not follow up what they spend with reminders of their generosity nor by causing hurt, they shall have their reward from their Lord, and they will have no fear nor shall they grieve. Kind words and forgiveness of faults is better than sadaqah, better than charity, followed by hurt, and God is self-sufficient and forbearing. O you who believe, do not make your charity, your sadaqah, worthless by reminders of your generosity nor by causing hurt, like he who spends his wealth to be seen of people and does not believe in God nor the last day. This is what God tells us in the Quran in the second chapter, verses 262 to 264. This is the only thing that invalidates our charity. Look, if you don't want to give somebody charity, then don't give it to them. But kind words and forgiveness of faults are better than if you gave it to them and then talk down to them. You do not have the right to buy another person's dignity for cheap price, for a few dollars, for a meal. If they are asking for you, they are in dire straits. Whether they are an addict or if they are truly in need, they're still in dire straits and they are paying with their dignity. And no person wants that. Don't make their state worse. Look, if you don't want to give somebody money because they're an addict, for example, and you think they're going to spend it on drugs, then don't give it to them. But speak to them gentle words. Speak to them kind words. Because this is a command from God. And if you give people something, then remember that you are giving it to them for God. You do not want a reward nor thanks. Your reward is with God. So do not remind them of your generosity nor talk down to them because this completely invalidates charity. If you are a Muslim, you have to understand that dignity is not for sale and that every person deserves dignity no matter how terrible their situation is. This is what God teaches us in the Quran. Peace be with you.